Hey, what's up everybody? So today I want to talk about the huge news that just came out. Microsoft is purchasing ZeniMax, which is a video game uh, publisher that has the following subsidiaries. Uh, Bethesda, which uh, makes Fallout, Elder Scrolls, and Doom. Uh, Arcane Studio, which makes um, Dishonored. ID Software, which also makes Doom, Wolfenstein, Quake, and Rage, and a whole bunch of other smaller uh developers and you know this is probably the biggest uh you know gaming news of the year other than you know the playstation 5 and xbox series x uh being released in the next couple months and also with those two new consoles uh coming out in november this could be a huge deciding factor in whether or not uh, a person is going to buy an Xbox or a PlayStation because these are major franchises and if Microsoft chooses to make any of the uh, new games that come out with these franchises console exclusives then you know a lot of people will say well I might as well buy the Xbox and you know it is what it is I mean me personally I'm gonna buy both consoles um, I want to get the disc version and I'm probably going to get four or five games a piece and, you know, an extra controller. And, uh, you know, that's just what I'm going to do when the both, you know, when these systems come out because I enjoy playing video games. And, um, but a lot of people are only able to buy one console. So this, you know, they might lean more towards uh, Microsoft now. And, um, but with that being said, uh, they have released a statement saying that uh, all current commitments to uh, Sony in regards to console exclusives will still be um, uh, upheld and uh, you know they're, they're, but after that after the, the games that they currently have in contract with Sony to make console exclusives with um, it's going to be on a game by game basis and that is a little bit unnerving because they're basically saying that yeah we bought the studio and yeah we're going to honor our current commitments but after that we'll have to see and you know with fallout elder scrolls and doom all being uh major franchises and even wolfenstein i wouldn't consider it a major franchise but it's definitely uh you know a pretty well-known video game uh series i mean that could be grim for sony because i mean people might not want to buy the playstation 5 now if they have to choose between one or the other and um but on the, the other hand i think that with games like Fallout and Elder Scrolls, with them costing, you know, tens of millions of dollars, sometimes even, you know, over a hundred million or a couple hundred million dollars to create, I don't think that they're going to want to shut out such a large um, market share or a potential uh, consumer base of, of these uh, major cornerstone uh, franchises. You know, it just doesn't, I mean, it makes sense on, on a little bit, you know, it makes some games console exclusives, but when you're spending, you know, a couple hundred million dollars to uh, make a game, it, it just, you, you don't want to limit yourself is all I'm saying. And um, then, you know, let's say that Microsoft starts to uh, make, you know, these games uh, console exclusives, or excuse me, uh, Xbox exclusives. Then what Sony can do is they can potentially buy up uh, publishers and then you know take games that were once uh, you know multi-platform and then make them Sony only uh, games you know there was a rumor last year that Sony was thinking about buying take two which I believe is the uh, parent uh, company of the makers of um, NBA 2k uh, Rockstar which makes Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto I mean it like I, I don't want to see that. I want to. I, I understand that you know certain games. You know, in regards to like Xbox, uh, such as Fable, uh, uh, Halo, Gears of War. You know, those are were original IPs that were exclusive from you know Jump Street for that console. And same with on Sony's side, you have like uh, let me think, uh, The Last of Us. You have. Um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, Ratchet and Clank, you know, there's also, you know, there's a lot of games that were, are exclusive just for, you know, Sony's console, and that's, and that's fine, but when it comes to major gaming franchises, I think they should always be multi-platform, 
And um, that's all I got to say, guys. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below about Microsoft purchasing uh, ZeniMax for $7.5 billion. You know, I want to know if you guys think they're going to make their games console exclusive or not. And um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Peace.